good morning. Yep, still morning. Whew, that was a big gong. That big gong can be a big change too. As we feel into ourselves, and we feel into this world, and we feel the vibration shift. When I gonged, <laughs> notice how I jumped because my body said, oh my goodness, what the heck is that? And so as our bodies react to different things, we get different messages that go to, to our cells. We actually also get um, hormones that go to our cells. That little gong and you saw me jump, that was a quick shot to my adrenal, uh, my, my amygdala that said, oh my goodness, there's a big noise. You should startle. And maybe if that noise gets bigger, maybe you should run. The amygdala doesn't even know that I have the thing in my hand and I created it myself. <laughs> it is our bodyguard. It takes care of us. It puts us into high alert. And now, I mean, now I can laugh about it because it was just a short little thing and it didn't go very long. But what happens in our body, in our body, in our mind, and in our spirit when things are more traumatic than just a little gong? When things are difficult, first of all, and I'm addressing this particular meditation around trauma, let's define trauma. And I've got the dictionary in front of me on my computer. It says trauma is a deeply distressing or disturbing experience. That's a pretty open-ended um, definition, isn't it? Because what might be distressing to you might not be distressing to me. And so we each experience trauma in our own way. And it doesn't mean that one person's trauma and another person's trauma are any different and have any different value, but there are differences in the way we experience trauma. And when you're in utero, when you were this, this little baby, even from the time that you were just two little cells put together, your body was feeling what was happening in your mother and in the vibration around her. This is science, this is documented stuff, and I can give you the references if, I, if you wish. Your body is feeling the trauma, the disturbance in the mother's field. In Qigong, we're gonna call that in her chi field and in the interior chi field. And so this little baby is, as we were growing inside and we're the, whatever what the mother was experiencing, it's sending messages to the baby saying, this is the environment that you're going to be born into. You might wanna be ready for it, which sets up with the amygdala uh, a little bit of a hypervigilance sometimes where we are already wired to be assessing trauma and to be careful about possible trauma at all times. Some of us have had a relatively, whatever, stable childhood sounds like. Um, and, and some of us have had a, a, a difficult childhood. They have got now research that it's the ACEs scale. Um, I forget what all what words all mean, but uh, if you've got more than six experiences on this checklist of simple 10 different experiences, then you're probably likely wired for trauma. Your brain is wired for trauma. And um, you've probably got some things that you've had to work through or are continuing to work through, <laughs> we're always continuing to work through, that are connected to disturbances and imbalanced in, imbalances in the way that you were raised and, and the way I was raised. This is the way human beings go. Now, with that fetal um, brain pattern laying down and those first five formative years of our lives are very, very important but we're, because we're actually physically laying down patterns in the brain. Can you rewrite that? Yes, you can, you can, you can. Um, I'm going to relate it a little bit to physical exercise at the moment. Um, how many people on this world go run marathons? Not a lot. It's about 1% of the population. Now I have written run a marathon. I've run about 25 of them and ultra marathons. Did I just decide one day I'm going to go run a marathon and just go and run 26.2 miles or 100 miles? No, I had to train to do it. I had to physically have a plan. And I had to physically do something every day to build and build and build my physical resilience and my mental resilience. <laughs> I'll tell you, running those things is not a, just a physical game. But I had to build and build and build every day. And then I discovered that once I was in marathon shape, I could run a marathon regularly. I could run one every couple of weeks. 
because my body was in that space. It's the same with our brain. We can retrain it. We can reprogram it. We can lay down new brain tracks. And this is where Qigong is incredibly helpful. Incredibly helpful. And if you haven't taken the Qi, the level one Qi activation course yet, I, am, I deeply invite you to come and take it with me because it really helps you understand how the Qigong functions in all the body, how the Qi functions. And our Qi is our energy with intelligence, a blueprint, and life force to it. But how do we harness that intelligence? We harness it with our intention. But if our intentions have been wired interestingly in our childhood, we have to then rewire our own intention. We have to rewire our belief system. We have to rewire a lot of things, but it absolutely can be done because in Qigong, we do it one breath at a time. And it's very cool because on one breath, you can decide you might be, be dealing with lots of things that, that this trauma has, has created for you in mental functioning, but on one breath, you can decide in this breath, I'm gonna bring in happiness. Right now, I feel happy. Okay, and let that go. And then perhaps you could do it again. On this next breath, I feel happy. And then you can take a little pocket of time and we're gonna take 30 minutes together if I quit talking and start practicing, but I want you to understand what it is and why it is that we're practicing what we're practicing. Because the brain only lives in the now. Everything that we remember and we bring back to ourselves, if that trauma has not been released and resolved, we will always remember things, but it won't necessarily have an emotional hook and an emotional attachment that pulls us in and takes us down that rabbit hole when we have released the emotion from the memory of the actions. And so what Qigong does and what EFT does, and they're combined because in Qigong we tap as well, what they do is they release the emotion, the emotional attachment, the emotional hook, that Velcro piece that hooks on and keep sending us back because every time we go back, unless that emotional hook has been released, every time we go back and think about any, any piece of the trauma and many people have multiple, multiple, multiple pieces. And so it's a busy, <laughs> it's a long road, could be. Um, but as we, every time we go back, if we haven't released the emotional hook, the brain thinks it's in that moment again and it puts us into fight, flight or freeze and then the rest of the brain can't work. And it finds ways to help us to be safe when some of those ways can be very catastrophic to us physically and mentally. So as we practice one breath at a time, just one breath at a time, bring in one breath. And especially as we change our bodies, this one is absolutely critical, absolutely critical. When we change our bodies, when we open our shoulders and drop our, our shoulders down and we breathe in deeply, and then we actually smile, no matter what we feel. You might feel, I feel horrible right now. And if we just simply smile, we actually physically send a message to the amygdala. And I point back here because it's kind of in the mid, it's in the base of the brain. <laughs> and it's about the size of an almond. Amazing how much power this little almond shaped, almond sized little bit has over us. But it is our protection package and we're not gonna bash the amygdala. It's a beautiful protection package. It has protected us. If you're still alive and you've been through a lot of trauma, your amygdala is responsible for that. We say, thank you, amygdala. You've got a pretty tight grip on me right now. <laughs> Let's release a little bit so that the whole thing can function. And so as we breathe and as we change our body, just physically change our body, and we actually start to bounce our body. This is why we do moving meditations. When we move our body and we change it, the amygdala goes, well, maybe there isn't a saber-toothed tiger or maybe there isn't a, a physical threat coming or an emotional threat or a mental threat coming if this person's got this rhythmic stuff going on. The amygdala then can release its hold and allow the rest of the brain to process. And the rest of the brain will say, oh, that's old memory. This Here we are right now and we're safe. So that's my preamble, very simple. Let's practice because you're gonna feel, I know you will, if you practice this with me, you will feel a difference, you will feel a change. And I invite you right now, if you've been dealing with trauma, and whenever you see this video, you might see this video 10 years from now, 
But if you've been dealing with trauma and you've been working on, on helping yourself to release from the impact, the emotional hook of, that trauma holds on you, right now, in this moment, set a number between 1 and 10 and maybe even write it down. So, and you're going to check your number again at the end of the, of the meditation. Set a number between 1 and 10 of right now as to how intense that trauma and how um, dysfunctional that trauma has you in. And how much it's got you in fight, fight, flight, or freeze. It might have you in 8 or 9. It might have you in this moment. Because at the end of the practice, I'd like you to look at your number again and see, oh, has that number shifted a little bit? And it might go from 8 to a 7 or a 6, but that's a shift. And if that's a shift today with just a half an hour practicing, can you make that shift again? And can you make that shift again? And can you make that shift again? And we do it one breath at a time. So when you hear the word half an hour and you go, oh, can I practice that long that often? Do it on the breath, one breath at a time. So let us begin. I'm going to back up and just set my phone a little bit. So the first thing that we do is we do some tapping. And we don't have to know anything that we're tapping about. We're just gonna tap between our eyebrows here. This is a bladder meridian, and our bladder holds fear. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm working on the phone. Um, the bladder holds fear. So we're just gonna tap on the bladder, and you're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. You don't have to think about anything. You don't have to try and think, okay, now what am I tra traumatized about? Just simply tap, simply practice. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And underneath the eyes, this is our stomach meridian. The stomach is connected to anxiety. I'm not going to explain each one of them or we will be here for three days. And I did promise to keep this relatively short. We're going to tap on the top of the head. This is the Bai Hui point, which is a lot of yang energy and trauma is exercised in yang energy. And it doesn't mean we have to hate yang energy. Uh, hold your hand on the head and tap the back of the head. This is opening up the gates, energy gates in the neck to come to allow the brain to receive energy. We're going to tap down our body. This is kind of a global tapping, tapping, <laughs> opening up our our lungs and our heart. We're going to lift up our left armpit. We're going to tap under the left armpit nine times, and under the right armpit nine times. Notice that you're starting to yawn, perhaps. We're gonna take our hands and we're gonna rub the back of them on our kidneys. That yawn that I just did, that's a spontaneous release of extra energy that's ready to go back to the universe. I have no idea what it was releasing, but it was releasing it and it's balancing. When you're yawning, you're not necessarily tired. You are releasing, your body is moving stuff. Allow those yawns to happen. Say, oh yes, awesome, there's a yawn. Feel it again. And actually, there we go. That one became much more organic. Now we're gonna bounce. Our bodies are electromagnetic. We, they are actually magnets. And as we bounce, and as we've had trauma, even either physical trauma like car accidents or tripping and falling or things like that, when we have trauma in our bodies, it blocks the energy from moving. And it can actually, our, our energy goes, um, down the front and it goes up the back. Our yin energy is down the front and our yang energy is up the back. When we've had a physical trauma or emotional trauma, the um, those polarities can be reversed and then the, the energy can be going all over the place. Do you ever use the word scattered? I'm feeling so scattered right now. Well, that's because your energy is scattered. And so as we bounce, and now I'm going to reduce how much I speak and simply begin to practice. As we bounce, feel into feel into how swift or how slow your bounce is. Feel into your elbows and your wrists your hips, your bounce comes out of the knees, but it can be pretty rigid. This is a rigid bounce, but it can be much softer. It can come out of the knees and the back, the, the lower back can be soft. The ankles are soft. And so you're like a little bungee cord, like a little puppet. 
but you're holding the puppet string. So you're not a puppet to anybody else. You're a puppet to you. You're a puppet to love. So allow that movement. We're gonna swing our arms back and forth, nice and easy back and forth. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Feel the freedom of being just a little child with no worries at all. If you don't have a memory like that, create one. You might have seen a movie, you might have seen something, seen children laughing or playing. What happens in your heart when you see that, when you see a baby? Feel into that feeling, that expanded feeling right now. I saw a cute little baby yesterday at a band concert and I was amazed at the physical feeling of expansion that I felt in my heart when I saw this little baby's face. It was just beautiful. So pick something like that. Feel into that expansive space right now. Bring it in. Our mind only works in the moment. So as we bring in that feeling in the moment, that joyful expanded feeling, allow a smile to come to your face as you remember it and you feel it as if it is happening right now. Allow your hands to float above your head. Very gently let your chin drop down. Hands go up nice and softly. The elbows are loose, the wrists are loose. Here in this space with just yourself. In this moment, on this breath. Feel the looseness of each joint. The softness, the suppleness. This particular symbol, and you can do this with your eyes open or closed. Sometimes it's difficult to close our eyes. The amygdala says never close your eyes. That could be why trauma also involves insomnia. And so you can keep them open if you wish and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. This is the universal sign of surrender. Now surrender could be a triggering word as well at the moment. We could call this release. The possibility of surrendering into pure, perfect, unconditional love. Allow your hands to float back down again. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're going to use our next long exhale to land into quiet stillness and have our body just land. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And as you land into this still place now after the bounce and the tap, feel into your hands. Feel into your fingertips. Your fingertips are probably tingling. Your palms might feel full. Your elbows may have floated away from your body. This is your chi. You have activated your chi. And your chi is energy with life force to it. Your chi is energy with a blueprint. It knows exactly how things could be perfectly balanced in our bodies for fullness of health. And it has the intelligence to carry out all of that blueprint. This position is called beginning of the universe. See an empty space behind your eyes, inside your head. This emptiness, this empty space is the beginning of the universe. It's inside you. It's also out there. And in this space that is empty, feel into the unconditional love that is here. Feel into the possibilities that are here. The possibilities of expansion, 
joy, wholeness. We're breathing in through our nose now and out through our mouth, or out, out through our nose. We have a gentle smile on our face. You can feel our chi active in our hands. Your hands is one of the places you'll feel your chi the most. And here we give a password, and this password connects us to the universe, connects us to the full power of the universe. And the password is, I am in the universe. Repeat it. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together as one. Just like when we put a password into our phone and we can access the power of the phone, even if we don't know how to use all the power in the phone or understand all the power in the phone, we still need a password to access it. In our giving our password, we access the power of the universe. Even if we don't know how to use it all right now, our chi knows how to use it. And now we set an intention. We call upon the energy of a guide, a teacher, a spirit, divine, you decide. Someone who has mighty power, unconditional love, with whom you feel perfectly safe. It could be your own inner light, your own inner knowing. We call upon this energy, I will call it light. Dearest light, Thank you for my existence, both my spiritual existence and my physical existence. Please help me in my practice today that I will feel safe in this practice. Please help me to receive on the breath in this moment for this bit of time, happiness, joy, peace, contentment, and gratitude. And so we have set our intention and our intention is what will direct our chi. We set our intention in the positive of what we want to feel, where we want to go towards. We're gonna to bring our hands up to our body. Your right hand is up by the throat. There's a space between your body and your hands. Fingers are gently curled, but don't make them be in a position. Allow them to be where they want to be. Have them be open. The chi moves better between open fingers. And use your visualization now. See a light coming out of the heavens, out of the sky, whatever, to the top of your head, down into your torso, and lighting up like a beautiful pillar of light all the way down to your lower dantian, your navel area. Feel that light. Feel the presence of it in your navel area, inside your body. And now we're gonna move our right hand up and out and down and our left hand comes in and up. You may do any of these movements standing, sitting or lying down can do them visualized as well. So if your body can't stand, sit. If your body can't sit, lie down. We always honor pain in Qigong. We do not push through pain. Pain is always a messenger. And as we move yin and yang here, yin and yang are opposite energies. We're balancing them, we're moving them. As we breathe in now, we breathe in on this breath only, the feeling of happiness. In this moment, I am happy. Our breathing is in through the nose and out through the nose. As we breathe in this happiness, feel into and maybe see a tree. Feel the wood. Smell the wood. Bring that smell into your body. Feel the green of the leaves. Feel the green of the grass. As you breathe in, feel the air being green. 
is that you bring in that beautiful green air from the living trees and the living grass. It washes over your liver and your gallbladder and all the tendons and ligaments in the body. These are the spaces that hold anger when we can't move our anger. Anger comes to set a boundary. And so we can say thank you to the anger. Thank you so much for protecting me. And so as we breathe in happiness, we breathe out, we release the anger, and we release it with love and gratitude. And now on both the in-breath and the out-breath, we are bathing ourselves in healing hormones of endorphins, hormones that heal. We're calming our, our amygdala and saying thank you so much for your presence. I really appreciate the work you do. In this moment, in this space, we will relax together. In this moment, I am happy. I feel the green light of happiness through my liver, through my gallbladder. Bringing our hands to the lower dantian, we feel this energy ball of yin and yang in it pulses in our hands. It's about the size of a volleyball at the moment. We're now going to do breathing of the universe. As we breathe in, this volleyball sized yin and yang ball expands. And as we breathe out, it contracts. As we breathe in, we feel the fire of hatred. Feel the redness that hatred would carry with it. We breathe in joy. We breathe out the hatred. As we breathe in now, we're going to let our knees bend. And as we breathe out, we say thank you to the hatred because it really helped us protect us. We breathe in joy. In this moment right now, I can feel joy on this breath. It's safe to feel joy on this breath only. And now we release. With love and gratitude, we say, oh, thank you for protecting me. We breathe in joy. And breathe in down into your navel. Breathing in joy, you can go as slow as you wish, or as fast as you wish. As we're bending our knees, we're reaching down into the earth, we're breathing with the universe, and our earth is part of the universe, and we are part of the universe. And here we are in synchronization with the universe, breathing in deeply. Feeling the oneness of all things. And especially feeling the oneness of the love of the universe. Invite the smile back to your face if it's disappeared. Feel the joy, feel the warmth of the joy. It fills our hearts. We're working with the heart system here. As you breathe in, feel this red light of joy pulsing through your bloodstream. Going to all the cells, bringing joy into every cell. Feel that red warmth, feel the warmth of the fire Fire both burns and consumes, it also warms. It is neither good nor bad. Allowing our hands to just slowly drop down to our sides with our palms up. We're gonna reach up into the heavens now. As your hands slowly come up, feel underneath your hands 
the hands of your ancestors, the hands of loved ones who have gone before, who now know different things because they're in the next realm. And here they are coming back to support us with love and kindness, and forgiveness and compassion. And as we reach our hands up into the universe, we have this ball of yin and yang, the balance of all that is. And as we bend our knees and breathe in, we're breathing the heaven and the earth. And as we stretch up, we reach back up into the universe. We're connecting heaven and earth here, and we are the conduit between them. As we breathe in, we breathe in peace. As we breathe out, we release any anxiety. Our anxiety has served us very, very well. It helps us watch every little detail. It is so important. We say thank you. On the exhale, on the inhale, we breathe in peace. We feel this peace like the yellow light of the sun coming into our bodies coming into our stomach, our stomach system. And it washes through our stomach system, our spleen, our pancreas. We feel this coursing of yellow. We feel the warmth of it. In this moment, on this breath, I breathe in peace. On this exhale, I release with loving gratitude any bits of anxiety that are ready to return to the universe. Nothing is ever shoved out. It's simply released when it's ready to go. And because it's released on love, more and more can release more and more easily. As we are grateful for what it brought us and what it taught us, it knows then that it will be welcomed again when it's needed. And so it can release its grip now, inhaling peace. Releasing with love and gratitude any anxiety and seeing our stomach system washed clean in the yellow light of peace. Bringing our hands to the top of our head, we slowly touch our fingertips together. If your mobility will not allow your hands up here, simply envision them up there. Bring your hands slowly down to the top of your head, your Baihui point, which receives intelligence past your third eye, your sixth sense, that connection to your chi field that feels all things, past your nose, past your mouth, past your throat, where your voice is, your voice to speak out, your voice to be heard, past your heart, past your lungs, down to the lower dantian, our vitality center, Fingertips turn down, fingertips form a heart shape and we walk our right foot out about a half a step again. And here we're connecting with our body's energy. As we shift our body weight to the left, we breathe in. As we shift our body weight to the right, we breathe out. Breathing in to the left, allow your shoulders to relax and drop down. Breathing out to the right. As we breathe in, we breathe in the essence of contentment. And it fills our lungs with a beautiful white light. As we breathe out, we release any sadness, depression, and grief. The grief could be there mourning what we did not receive. Mourning the losses of relationships, mourning the losses of safety. We breathe in contentment. We're in a new space now in this moment. And as we breathe out and release that sadness and depression, we say thank you to it because it does help us to feel deeply. Breathe in contentment and let's stay here now for just a short time. And exhale to the right. 
and pause. And this pause is a very gentle, soft release. Feel this white light coming through your lung system. Feel it coming in through your skin as you breathe in. Breathe in the essence and love of the universe through your whole skin. Feel the air coming and going through your nose and your sinuses. In this moment, I am content. My peace has expanded into contentment. And in this gentle rocking motion, we feel like a newborn baby, born anew. First of all, born to beautiful, perfect parents who know how to care for us, and especially who love us unconditionally. Envision that. See yourself loved unconditionally in this breath. Your mind might be bringing old stories back to you. Simply let them go for this breath. On this moment in this breath, I am content. And come back to the center. Bring our hands gently together in a prayer position. We bring them up to our heart. Allow our knees to still be soft. And here we're connecting with our heart's energy. We connect here in beautiful love and gratitude. And as we bow forward, we breathe in and think of one tiny thing for which we are grateful. It could be our breath. could be your shoelaces. It can be very simple. If it's difficult to think of things to be grateful for, simply open your eyes and look around you and see, I'm grateful for the floor. I'm grateful for my shoes. I'm grateful for the window. As we connect in gratitude with the chi fields of all things around us, we strengthen our own chi field of gratitude. There is strength and power in gratitude. We feel a beautiful blue light. We feel water. Feel yourself in a beautiful warm rain shower of water. It courses over your body and it's blue. It's just so lovely. It comes from a blue sky. And it washes. And it washes away all fear. And we're seeing it wash off our body and trickle down back into Mother Earth. And Mother Earth says thank you for releasing your fears. When you release your fears to me, I send them back to the universe to be recycled back into unconditional love again. And we are all blessed. We feel this gratitude in this blue washing through our kidneys, through our bladder. We feel it into our bones. Our bones give us structure. And especially we go deeper into the bones, into the bone marrow, that place that creates and sustains life. Gratitude is a creation space. We reach into the bone marrow of our bones and we feel that creation. We also feel this blue light washing over our reproductive organs, balancing them, expanding them. We feel it washing through our breasts, which nourish physically and emotionally. We feel this beautiful gratitude expand out into the universe and it feels so safe. And we release any fears, 
And in this gratitude, we have creation. On these simple single breaths, we've created new brain patterns. We've created new brain channels. We've actually physically changed our bodies. On this simple breath, as we invite in and practice feeling on the breath, these emotions that expand us. And we practice releasing the emotions that contract us. And in this practice, we are healed. Feel the balance and the peace. Feel the joy. Feel the gratitude. Let's rub our hands together. As we warm our hands, we have a meridian point right here in our palms that goes directly to the heart, which is an exemplifier of love. And our face and our ears hold meridian points for all of the organs in our body. And so we're going to massage our face. You're going to bring your fingers on either side of your nose. You're going to take them up into your hairline and draw them down. And as you do this, I invite you to try to say to yourself, I love you and use your own name. And say it out loud. This may take some courage, especially if you've had some difficult times. Say it out loud. Say, I love you. I would say, I love you, Roxy. And see what happens. See what voices echo in the background. Those are the voices and those are the treasures of things that are asking to be healed, that are desiring to be healed. And as we wrap our arms around those energies and that space, in love and gratitude, I know it sounds very, very diabolical almost, but as we wrap our, our, our love around those spaces of trauma, and we say thank you to ourselves, Thank you for the anger, and thank you for the hatred, and thank you for the anxiety, and thank you for the sadness and depression and grief, and thank you for the fear. They have protected us, they put a protective coat on us. And they're always gonna be there to help us. We can also function in happiness, and joy, and peace, and contentment, and gratitude. And as we expand up into that highest vibration of gratitude, we heal. And when we heal, others around us heal as well because our vibration goes out to them. Namaste, my friends. Thank you for practicing with me. Whenever you receive this video, know that I love you. I love you dearly. You might think, but I'm on the other side of the world. This lady doesn't even know me. But we are connected. Our hearts, and our chi fields are connected. And everyone on this whole planet has value, has worth, and has magnificence. You do, and I do. And as we see this in each other, we heal the world. Namaste.